Hey guys, what's up? So we have the iOS 11 and as you guys know that the iOS 11 has been launched yesterday. So here we have it on the iPad and uh, what I've done is I've just downloaded it and I'm going to install it and obviously update the iPad to see uh, what the different features are. Uh, iOS 11, as you can see, it brings hundreds of other features in iPhone and iPad, including all the new App Store. So let's go ahead and update it. Let's see how it performs. Right, so I've just updated my iPad uh, with the iOS 11 and let's go ahead and hit continue. First off, uh, as you can see, the iPad uh, won't really change the applications on the iOS 11 as you had them before. What that means is whatever data or whatever apps you had on your iPad will literally remain there. Uh, one of the major features uh, on the iOS 11 for the iPad is the interface. Uh, the icons seem to be much more flatter. Uh, the taskbar on the lower area has changed. And if I would just slide it up, you can see all the apps are open in, in such a format, uh, which is quite interesting. So on the right side, it gives you different uh, tasks which you can literally just go ahead and click. And over here, you have your pages. You can ju just you can swipe and you can close them. Uh, as soon as uh, you hit the home button, you'll be presented with the home screen. Other features will be updated, I think, so later on once uh, the full and the final version of iOS 11 is launched. In notes. There is a bit of a change as far as the notes are concerned and now you can drag and drop uh, images into your notes or into the mail. The App Store has been redesigned which is a major thing. If you look at the App Store icon it was different and over here when you look at the updates it's also different. It's got two uh, columns of updates and uh, say if I were to go into uh, the today uh, menu and you can see it's uh, completely changed. So there is a bit of a change in the App Store. Uh, apart from that, there are many other changes in terms of functionality and in terms of features, uh, which I'll uh, put a link in the description below and you guys can read. But overall, DICE 11 right now is pretty much stable because this is almost the final version of uh, the uh, iOS 11 and if you guys are interested to download it I think so you can but you need a developers account once you download it you can really enjoy the iOS 11 another very interesting feature in the iOS 11 I've noticed is that example if you would open up an app all you have to do to go to the to the desktop or to the home page be just you can pinch with your five fingers and it and you would automatically be you know on on the main page or the main desktop of your ipad one of the most interesting features which i like in the ios 11 uh, is this folder icon over here so once i open up this folder what happens is it shows me my icloud drive and any other locations which i can link such as onedrive and dropbox um, so this was lacking in the previous operating systems uh, the previous uh, generation iOS and uh, in iOS 11 this is a major change which which would be quite helpful in terms of locating your documents if you were to do that say if I go into the calendar as you can see the calendar seems to be redesigned and it's much more snappier it's much more faster the operating system uh, performs much more well uh, than before and uh, same goes to the reminders as well as you can see the reminders layout is slightly different and um, if I go into settings, so the settings, obviously the menu has uh, been increased with other different uh, functions. So guys, thanks for watching my video and do subscribe, like and share. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section below. All right, guys, catch you in my next video then.